Welcome to Trading Lounge and the Bitcoin report for Wednesday, April the 27th. This is a monthly chart here for Bitcoin. And we're just looking at uh, the stochastics here uh, in terms of having this low in place and this high matches this one and this move to the upside here and then this divergence uh, here which is caused by volume. We can see that it's still open to the downside. We're not seeing increasing volume to the downside uh, on this. Also too, I want to just, you know, when we looked at the last trend to the upside here, um, that the market pulled back <clears throat> to the 78.6 uh, or probably 80% here. So, you know, can the market this time around uh, move back down to its 80% here as well? I mean, that's, that's a fair assumption based on where the monthly stochastics is and what happened in the previous trend because when you look at um, markets that are just starting up in their life they tend to have these sharp moves up and these reoccurring uh, patterns where they shoot up any any penny stock trader would, will point this out to you they they shoot up and then they sort of crash and they find their line again you know wherever that line may be taking you know through here somewhere like that do you know what I mean and they'll they'll play on that on that growth line so to speak so it's possible for it to come back down down lower here um, the other point is that uh, you know the markets the Bitcoin has basically been tuning into into equity so today we'll also have a look at um, <clears throat> maybe the DAX and the, and the S&P 500 and see how that sort of plays in now this is a weekly chart here and you can see that we've got a crossover here on the weekly chart here so this particular move to the upside here it's not like it's five waves to the upside and it's very difficult to get it up as wave one and two and one and two possible but you're really sort of bending things around a little bit and it doesn't seem to fit very well we could look at it in terms of the uh, triangle pattern <clears throat> and we're looking at two triangle patterns with this market so I think we're looking at let me just tune in we're looking <clears throat> oh well, this is one way to look at, at it um, so looking at the the bigger picture here is a triangle is an A and a B and a C and a D and an E here now um, <clears throat> in this case we would still need to see another move up here for Y of D and then we would need to see an A and a B and a C wave here for that and then a move up from there so that's all possible there's a different way to look at that triangle pattern as well so if we just uh, check on that which would be having D already in place here but it just looks too small compared to these particular previous structures you know and in this case here we would just get three up here yeah and then down here for this and then up from that point you know as an ABC here which is quite possible because we could get a rally off these lows here um, you can see the stochastics pulling back this is a three-day chart here so it's a little bit sort of out of sync in that regard but uh, and nothing special about a three-day chart either um, so um, there are sort of triangle patterns otherwise if we're looking at this particular pattern here looking at that as a corrective rally because you know that to me is five waves down here you know and this is a corrective pattern here now yeah corrective patterns can double in size and get a bit bigger um so I, that's fine um and it didn't rally back to its 61.8 percent or 50 percent which is really at the 50k here so a bit shy of that so it's a little bit small but that's okay it's still moving down in line with equities and we look at that on the daily chart uh here so yeah, last time we spoke, we were just looking for a little rally and then, then, a, then a move down. So we got that little rally. So I'm just going to remove that. <clears throat> so this kind of pattern here where we've got um, this move down through here, um, we can look at it as wave one and two. That would be looking at it in line with the, with the S&P 500 uh, and so on. So <clears throat> let me just bring the S&P in. So with Bitcoin here on this date here, March the 28th, that top there, if we look at the S&P 500, so we've got this move here like that. We've come down in this trend and we've got this move up here, right? So 
with the S&P, we've got the same thing. We've got this move down and we've got this move up. So that's the 28th of March, the same as Bitcoin. So the S&P has been moving down and uh, so has the DAX and all the others, you know. So this has been the sort of pathway for, for this. Um, this can be counted a little bit differently as well. But whichever way you look at this, if you look at it like this here, or I may have another count here for, for this as well this count here which is a WXY which should which is possible as well we can we can we can rally up here in three waves here basically to a 61.8 percent and then have three waves down here so it can get a little bit more complicated but whichever way I look at it it's going down you know um, so coming back to this particular chart here for a moment We've got this down as one and two here and one and two here. So if I just go to the intraday on, on the S&P. So we've got this one and two here, and then we're looking down at this as one and two here, and then one and two. So it's, we're building to the downside here. Now this can be counted, um, this move can be counted differently as well. I could look at this count, um, just to be fair, and I always like to look at both sides of things. It's actually looking at this here as one and two, and three and four, a little bit hard, high for the four, but also a little bit short for the fifth here. So bringing the fifth down to here, and then coming back up here for a rally to the 50, 60% mark of this move here, <clears throat> and then coming down from that point. So it's either going to come down from this point or it's going to move up here and come down. So Bitcoin's going to basically do the same as well. Um, and this is the, the same for the the uh, the DAX. Well, this is the stock 50, it's just it's closer. So we've got wave two up here or wave B. So on that 20, uh, 21st of April, that one. And, um, and then we've got one, two, three, four, and five here. So this makes a nicer five waves down and looking for an ABC and then down. So I think Bitcoin's gonna basically do the same as well. <clears throat> Ethereum could take a different track. We've been looking at Ethereum slightly differently. So Ethereum could have this here as an A and a B and a C wave here, uh, and then then come down. It's a little bit bit trickier, this one. <laughs> um, I'm trying to I'm trying to be I'm trying to maintain positivity and thinking that the market can go up, you know, because um, I, I feel for uh, for folks <clears throat> that are really connected to their to their crypto or gold, you know, they're both both cases, they're both, you know, both folks love their, um, their, their markets. And, you know, I've got money in both of them, you know, I've got, a fair, I've got four or five coins in, in, well, in Bitcoin anyway. So, you know, um, I'd like to see it go up, but if it goes down, I'm not going to cry. I, I want to, you know, buy more. So, um, yeah, so that's the S&P <clears throat> routine there. So with Bitcoin here, we've got two choices here, I reckon. So um, we'll either just continue to move down here and we'll look at this as one and two in here and we'll move down. Uh, can we do that here? I think we just check on that. Okay, yeah, so this is where we were last time. So in this way here, we're looking down as one here and ABC back for two here, and then down for one and back for two, and then down and back. So we can kind of go, we can kind of look for a little ABC pattern in here for this, and then drop. Or we could actually end up going a bit higher, but even if we do go higher, I wouldn't get too excited about it because, we're not, you know, I mean, when you look at, when you look at this pattern here, first of all, I can say that <clears throat> it could you could count this in different ways, okay? So that's how sort of, um, uh, well, unstable that count is really, okay? So I, I'll throw that in the ring. The count, you know, you could have a different count quite easily for, for, for this, you know. But the main point here that I want to get across is you've got 40,000 here. <clears throat> And it's to me, the whole market is a game of support and resistance and going from one price point to the next price point of the same degree. So 40,000 to 30,000 or 40,000 to 50,000. That's how you sort of trade or you'd go from 41,000 to 42,000. They're the same number, you know. So it's a game of support and resistance on that particular number that you're working with to the next number of the same degree. And, you know, in terms of getting things right, if you sort of,
if you stick to that sort of philosophy, you know, you might miss out on a lot of trends and things, but you're basically, you get in there and grab, grab your fair share of the pie, you know. Now, when it comes to the this number here, the 40,000, and I'm reverting to the trading levels now, so we call that a medium level, and then we call one, two, and three above as group one, and then below we call group two. So I'll take out the 39 here for a moment. So this is group two here, um, anyway, these three levels here. So what I normally say is that if the 43 becomes the tested support, then the market will go to the upside, be looking at 45,000 and continuing. But basically what, if you get tested support on that level um, with the pattern like this here, the classic trading levels pattern one, which is the most common pattern, or <clears throat> you can get this particular pattern here, which is a little bit less common, but quite common, where it doesn't come back below the level, then that's support. And the third pattern, I've only got three patterns at a level, <clears throat> and that's not the other one. The other one we don't really use much, but <clears throat> I just call it an overshoot pattern where it doesn't stop at the level, it just goes straight through and then runs out of steam and folds back. And normally the distance above is normally the distance below here. Uh, and but eventually find support over here in that case. So they're the three, if that gets support, so they're the three sort of patterns that can occur at a level. And you know, this is what we'd need to be bullish over here. But on the bearish side, we do the same thing with group two here, 36,500. I'll call it the 65 number, the 72, the 7, 37,200 there and the 38,000 uh, there, so the eight. So really from the 30 here, we've got the Fibonacci numbers running one, two, three, five and eight. So that's all you need to understand with the trading levels, one, two, three, five and eight. Um, but if it if this becomes the retested resistance of 36,500, it's gonna be pulled down to five, the 35 here, five being the second strongest number. So that tells me that being re the retested resistance here, it's leaving the 40,000 of the same degree and we pull down to the 30 at that point. And along the way, the five here, the 35 is the halfway mark, that's going to be, you know, that's where we'll see the largest correction on the way down. <clears throat> and then we're going to group one here, one, two, and three. So that's sort of how I see it. So if it drops out of this, we have to look at this. <clears throat> Will that occur? I don't know because we're looking at the um, straight away we're looking at the stock 50 here for example same as the S&P 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here we're either going to go we're either going to go up for an A wave a B wave and a C wave up here and then go down or we'll go between this level and this level here halfway up here and, and then go down from that point you know <clears throat> so that means that over here we'll either go up to here and drop or we'll go higher up here and then drop but we'll still be fluctuating within this in this range here within this space so that's kind of where we are with it all I you know <clears throat> taking all things into consideration um, yeah so I, I there's probably more pressure to the downside than there is to the upside being the triangle pattern but anyway the main point here is that we're going to see a move off these lows here how far it uh, goes at that point as an ABC here and then drop, or do we go uh, higher up into this space here for that? That will be the question. See what I've done with the, um, when with that, let me just check April, March, April, April, that's the 21st of April, it's the 21st of April here so it's that high oh, okay so that's interesting so this high here right this high here if I go to the stock 50 it will be this high over here that in April the, tw the April 20 21st over here so in this case we can look at you know if the stocks are going to rally then it's going to rally up into this space here <clears throat> So that means we can grab Bitcoin and do the same thing. It's a little bit uh, trickier here because we've got that, but in a nutshell, if we get some sort of weird pattern, and we've been getting weird patterns, we can come back up to where wave two is here. And we would need to look at it differently at that point. We'd need to look at it some sort of like, um, yeah, some anyway, some other particular structure in here, some sort of ABC correction that 
that will take us to to the 61.8 percent and then down at that point I'll be able to figure that out but that's the way that stocks could be traveling so we've either got this or we've got that and that's pretty much it at this point so I'll just remove those so yeah count one and count two it's about the best that's my thinking anyway we'll see but it's been interesting watching this come down here um, you know via the, the swings across here are also been getting you know when, when you look at them they've been getting more volatile each time here haven't they you know, in their own way <clears throat> anyway we'll see we'll, see. we'll, we'll uh, We'll just allow this to rally. I mean, last time we spoke, we were looking for this and this. We got that. So we, if we get this and this, then we know where we are at that point. You know, we need to break free down from this point. Alrighty, I'll leave it at that. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Cheers.